Today we're doing something special. I teamed up with Bob and Scott, the uh, guys who run Nature's Fell, and we decided we wanted to give back to the troops. People who know me, I'm a really big fan and supporter of our troops, the men and women who serve in the armed forces, and uh, I'm always trying to do whatever I can to give back to them. At Nature's Fell, it's as much about the process as it is the final project. Giving a fallen tree a second life is an extremely rewarding process. Then to share that experience, that's where the magic happens. And then it clicked, I'm like, why don't we get together and do something with woodworking, team up with Nature's Fell, and bring the vets in here and we can build something together and auction it off and the proceeds will go to your foundation. So, you know, perfect. So we teamed up with a uh, organization called American Warfighters Foundation. My name is Patrick Carney. I'm an eight-year Army veteran. I did two deployments to Iraq during my eight years of service. Uh, once I separated, I kind of was lost in the shuffle of, of life and I got involved with a, an organization that, that started me off golfing. A program like this takes the veteran's focus off of every, all, all, the, all the stuff he's been through and puts us on this little, on this little white ball. And, and anyone who's a golfer knows how frustrating and, and wonderful that white, little white ball can be. It, uh, it can truly change your life and give you all, all new perspective on things. And then once that organization closed down, I, I decided that uh, this kind of program needs to continue. So the American Warfighter Foundation was born. We uh, specialize in athletic rehabil rehabilitation for wounded warriors of any type, physical injuries, mental injuries, post-traumatic stress, loss of limb, you name it. We, we do our best to help them. It's good to have the troops here. We want to do something to give back as well. So today our therapy is woodworking at Nature's Fell. That's going to be our therapy. So I'm excited. Should we get started on this? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Let's definitely. do it. Yes. We're building the table for these guys. And what are you going to do with the table when, when we're all done with it? Uh, we're hoping to either uh, auction it off uh, for proceeds to, to come to the American Warfighter Foundation or if we, we find a nice home for it, uh, donate it off. There you go. Perfect. Done. Let's get to work. So the first thing we got to do is mill the log. And we got a big log hanging out out there. So the first thing we got to do is get the guys out to the mill. And we got to mill this thing down to some workable pieces of wood. When I first walked out there, I really thought, it, I, really thought I had an idea how it operated. And then it was the complete opposite. So I was really blown away uh, by how easily it just takes this giant you know, thousand pound log and, and, and turns it into these sheets of wood. It, it was incredible. For this project, we're using a tree that came from Jason's property. I sure hope he doesn't notice. So we got that start of how it comes from a tree to an actual piece of wood that we can turn into a table. So that was really fun. So once we get everything milled down, then we can start cutting our pieces to size. After everything's cut to size, then we can start the assembly process. And the assembly process is really where you start to see it come together. Right now, the guys are uh, marking up for the biscuits. So we're gonna go ahead and biscuit joint. We're gonna glue this up, and we're gonna use these uh, biscuits to join them. And what this does is not only give extra support, but they also give lateral support so they keep the boards from doing this. So these biscuits are really important. So we've got four on each seam. So they're marking those out right now. And you guys are good, right? Yeah. Good to do. So now we're good to actually uh, go ahead and use the machine and we're gonna create the little uh, pocket for the biscuit right now. Whenever we do a glue up, we like to use Gorilla Glue for the biscuits themselves and wood glue for the joints. It's really important to get coverage on both sides of the glue up. This way when you glue it up, you know the glue will bond properly and make the joint as strong as possible. As long as your layout is good and you use plenty of glue, the bond will last a lifetime. So the tabletop is one part of it. We're also building a frame, which is the table base out of metal. And we've got Joe in here who's helping the vets put that together. I'm really excited about this project. We love when people come in and want to get their hands dirty with us. And these guys immediately jump right in. As far as design goes, we just use square tubing and angle iron. I gave them a quick lesson and they caught right on. They were a blast to work with. I think we did really well. 
I had a blast hanging out with these guys, and I really hope we get to do it again. So we had a friend of ours, Joe Roth, he used the CNC machine to create the flag for us. So we need to, we need to actually inlay that into the table. All right, buddy, here you go. This is all dry, ready to sand. So all you need to do is just take that black off the top, and then we'll leave it in the grooves. Okay. Get it nice and clean, and then we'll go ahead and we'll mark up on the table to inlay it. Okay, all right, great. it's all yours. Okay, thank you. yeah. The inlay, it, it's tough because it's such precise work. Unless you actually do it yourself, I don't think you can actually appreciate how difficult it is. Um, I'm always a student, always will be a student, so I enjoyed learning from them. So I knew how to do it instead of playing the guessing game. Uh, is this the right way? Do I do it this way? Now I have a general idea of how to do it. So it'll be fun to when I get my tools and, and start doing it myself. I think we did really well. I mean, the inlay went right in. Uh, one little boo-boo, but uh, Scott fixed it for us and uh, it really came out amazing. What you doing, Jake? I'm measuring up the legs to where they're gonna insert into the metal tube. Right now, they're a little too big, so we've gotta round over the edge to match the uh, metal, and then we gotta sand them down enough so that they are snug going in. So we got a little fine tuning to do on these. This one's ready. Why don't you go ahead and uh, pour into it? Well, I get that karate uh, kid. You gotta get in there and do wax. No, no, I don't want to do it. You recognize that green? It's kind of like a moss green, by the way. Yeah, it's a tabletop on. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah. Like a three and a quarter of each. The real food, what you guys do, Jay? You gotta yeah. look down. We do have a special guest coming in, uh, Goose. Yeah, it's funny because uh, you know Goose and I keep in touch, even though we're not officially doing man caves anymore. We still keep in touch, and um, he, he's going to make time today to come in and be part of this. So I'm, I'm thankful that he's doing it. The guys are really excited to meet him. It's pretty funny. I'm coming from my cabin upstate New York, and I got a phone call, and uh, it's Jason Cameron, and I'm like, "Hey, Jason, what's going on?" He goes, "Goose, listen, we've got a couple of veterans down here. We're letting the guys go and get involved in making tables." And Jason. We made this table right here, which is uh, which is awesome. This is the back side of it, so we signed it. You know, it's cool to get involved with veterans, give a little back, and uh, it's great to see Jason too. It's amazing how supportive they are, and, and they, they're just so gung ho about about everything that, that we can do to help vets. And uh, they're, they're huge supporters, and I think they're really going to be uh, some lifelong friends for us. Last night, after everyone left, I stayed behind and finished the table with a two-part polyurethane. Now all that's left is to put the table together. You could put a horse up on top of this table. Mm -hmm. Oh no, but it wasn't too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Once it's complete, it's going to be complete here any minute now. Uh, I'm excited to see the finished product. Uh, ultimately, we're going to hopefully either have an event or maybe do an online auction, either on, uh, on Facebook or maybe, maybe off of our website. Every dollar counts. Um, I mean, 100% one, of every do of anything that comes in goes directly to the, the wounded veterans, the, the disabled veterans, the walking wounded, and it, it's those guys that we really try to help. If one dollar equals eight hours of sleep for a guy, then then I'm happy. Boom, dude, that looks awesome, Boom. man. Now that it's all together, I tell you what, nice call on the on the what are we calling the collars on the bottom? What are we calling that? Just like know. Clydesdale cups. Clydesdale cups. Yeah. I like that. yeah. Yeah, it was, it was an honor to build here and build with you guys. Um, it's, it's something I'm going to remember for a long time to come. Awesome. I can't yeah. wait for you guys to get this out there, start showing it, get some bids on it, and make as much money as you can for the vets. Yeah, absolutely, Jay. I, uh, I'll be sad to see it go, but it's going to ultimately go to a good cause. So it's uh, going to help a lot of people. In the end, that's one gorgeous ash table. I think Joe and the guys did an amazing job on the metalwork. The black walnut accent really sets the table off, but my favorite part is the inlay. It really came out amazing. How do I tell them I want to keep the table? Thank you, man. You guys, you guys are incredible. Good Scott, to be part of the process. Thank process. you very much, man. Thank awesome. you. Really nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you so much, too. Scott. All right, should we load it up? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's load it up. Let's do it. Who's got the forklift? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the overall experience was incredible. I mean, I, listen, I love coming to Nature's Fell. That's a given because these guys are right. This, they do what I love to do, and they've got a great shop. Combining that with the vets and this great organization, American Warfighter Foundation and Patrick, it's just a win-win because it's just seeing the vets work with their hands and 
and how much they enjoyed it. This is great therapy. I'd like to thank Jason Cameron, J Jason Cameron and, and Nature's Fell for having us out. It has been truly a, a, a amazing experience. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone out there who's, who supported us and, and got, got us to this point. Um, I, I, it is my hope that, that this event, that this, this build is going to take us to that next level. It's going to be the, 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 the straw that, that breaks the camel's back and, and really gets us to that next level. Uh, to be able to have 30, 40, 50 guys at a time go through the program. That, that's, and that's my dream. You know, to bring guys in from multiple states right down to the South Jersey because it's such a huge tourism area. Have them enjoy South Jersey, play some golf, maybe hit up the casinos, whatever we're going to do. Have a great time. Go home happy.